welcome back to Pigs 47 today I'm going to be weathering this ratio retaining wall kit with stuff that I've got knocking around the garage bit of a scratch scratch building trying to do it on a budget so I thought I'd just show you how so the first thing that I'm going to be putting on is a mixture of normal decorating emulsion paint I've mixed 50-50 of white emulsion with magnolia to give me a stone look so the first thing I'm going to do is just coat that over the top So that's the first coat and I think I'm only going to leave it as one coat. It's a couple of minutes with a hair dryer. As you can see it leaves a very chalky matte finish which is exactly what I'm looking for. So the next process is because I'm going to be using solvent based uh, weathering paints on it I need to seal it in because if you put any solvent over this emulsion it's just going to wash it off. So the next thing that I managed to find in the cupboard in the garage is this aerosol can of tail light tinting. So this will make it a little bit muckier as well. It will also act as a barrier between the oil and the solvent based paints against the emulsion. So the next stage is just to give it a light coat of this. So again, I've just dried that quickly with the hairdryer. So it's a matte tinted finish. And as you can see, that's darkened it up quite a lot. Now I am trying to match what I've already got on the layout. So far, this is looking pretty close. So the next job is just to give it a light wash with the gray, add some scenics, some moss around these edges couple of tufts on top of the pillars and that's ready to eye up them to see how it looks against the current ones on the layout so I'm just using a Humbrol Mac 106 thinned it down 50-50 with a standard thinner just to give me my wash and then it's a case of just a few streaks up and down just to darken it back up again and let that dry off with a hair dryer and see how we're looking okay that was quite challenging since I've done the others to the left quite a few months ago now I've tried to replicate it the best I can and at the end of the day a little bit of variation as I'm going along isn't going to be the end of the world. So next thing to do now is just add some tufts and some scenics and get them in place. So I've used some T44 fine turf from under the arches and I've just used some 6mm summer mix static grass just put some tufts on to give it a bit of detail so I'm off of that up now see how it looks so I'm pleased with how they've come out got a few more kits to do to get to the end I think they're looking really good much better than just the plain grey plastic 